everybody, I am Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your body weight bar chair workout. So in this workout, we're gonna use the back of a chair as your bar, and we'll be doing some bar or standing Pilates inspired moves using just your own body weight to tighten and tone and strengthen your muscles. So all you need for this workout is a chair and a mat. You might notice that I am currently about seven months pregnant. This workout is totally fine to do if you are pregnant, as long as you have been cleared by a doctor for exercise and you're monitoring your intensity level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start just with a quick little warm up. Make sure that you are away from your chair. Let's roll through those shoulders to the back and then to the front. We're gonna keep this quick. So as always, if you need more of a warm up or a cool down, please get it on your own. Big deep breath in and out. One more and let's take it wide. Let's go flat back down. So we're gonna use the back of the chair as our bar. It also works if you have a countertop like I have right here or the back of a couch, as long as it is something sturdy and you're just being careful. And let's hold it here. Let's roll through our backs, just side to side. Just kind of pushing out gently on those inner thighs. So we're gonna be working a lot of those tiny little bar movements, standing Pilates bar inspired. Walk it in, round it up, little reaches across. You stretch out through the arms, through the back. And we're gonna keep it pretty short today. Enough just to get your heart pumping, get those muscles burning again with those tiny, smaller muscles. And then let's do a little hamstring to the back to shake it out. And a little gentle knees to the front. And if you are pregnant, please make sure that you are following me. There are a couple things that we will modify, but most of this is a very pregnancy friendly workout and then just stretch it out center and making sure this goes for everybody that you're staying hydrated certainly if you need a break take a break you can always hit pause you can always come back to it do what is best for you today okay so we're gonna start go ahead and come closer to your chair hand on for a little bit of balance toes out nice deep plie so just down and up and on this you probably don't even need that balance you might though we're going to do a few things where you might want to have it there and we're going to start just isolating in the legs inner thighs glutes all through the legs and then of course on and up in through the core so as you're pulling up and in think about pulling in those core muscles those deep pelvic floor muscles, especially if you're pregnant. Let's go four, squeeze, three, two. So take your hand off the bar. Let's add a little squeeze in, open out. Squeeze, open. So we're squeezing in the chest, then squeezing in the back. So double squeeze, front and back. Four, three, open, two, Let's do a little rotation with our arms. So we're gonna go in, open. So palms are turning out, palms are turning up. So we're getting a rotation through the arms, through the triceps, also back and shoulders, and keeping with the chest. Here we go. Last four. Squeeze. Three. Two. Let's hold it down right here. So watch me here, toe and heel. Squeeze, lifting the heel. Keep that core in tight, no legs are burning. Let's go four, squeeze, three, two, and one. Bring it up, hand on that bar. Knee to the front, elbow to knee. So it's a standing crunch, looks like this. If you're pregnant with me, we're gonna keep it kind of small. We don't want deep contraction. If you're not, really bring it in. See if you can really touch that elbow to the knee. Up to you, probably still feel that arm a little bit, little bit of legs. Breathe, two more. Can you hold it in? If you're pregnant, I want you to hold it right here. 
If you're not, try to touch if you can, nice and deep. Four, three, two, let's take it to the side. Side knee. So again, it's a standing crunch. Everything's still working. Probably still feeling that arm, maybe a little bit of heart rate. Squeeze it in. You can keep it small range of motion if you need to, especially if you're pregnant. If you're not, really try to touch. Let's go four, three, two. Hold it in, pregnant here, all the way in if you can. Four, three, two, and relax. Let's take this leg, lift and lower. So slight bend in the knee, breathe. There we go, lift. Notice this stationary leg, breathe, is taking all the weight, so it's working too. Watch me, we're gonna add a little squat with the stationary leg. Lift, squat, lift, squat. So through the hip, through those tiny little muscles, right, four, three, two, one. Let's hold them up, kick it out and in. Core in tight, breathe. Four more right here. Four, three, two, and one. Tap it out for the legs. We're gonna get all of that on the other side. But before we do, let's do some little arm isolations. I know they were working, but watch me here. Little arm pumps to the back. So it looks like this, nothing with the legs. I'll show you even from here. Like I'm squeezing my thumbs together. Just stand nice and tall, good posture. Just gonna make the back of those arms really feel it. Back of the arms, middle of your back, squeezing shoulder blades. Are they burning yet? Mine are. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now watch me here, I'm gonna push them up. Looks like this, push. So a little different, you might feel a little more in those triceps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, tap it out, roll those arms, roll those shoulders. So go ahead and move your chair to the other side, or you can just turn yourself around, whatever feels better. And we are gonna take similar things, other side, isolating that other leg, but we'll start with that plie, here's what we're gonna do. We are taking it nice and wide before. Let's bring it in a little closer. So be careful of your knees. If it starts to bother your knees, take it out wider. But starting here, abs in tight, regular plie. Here we go. Drop it down and up. So a little closer in, you probably feel it squeeze in those inner thighs, in the glutes. Pull everything up and in. Don't forget about that core. Breathe. Excellent. Here we go, this time. Let's go arms up and center. Up and center. You have that chair next to you if you need it for balance. Breathe, four, three, two. Hold it here, watch me here. Heel lift and squeeze. Pull it down. Imagine that you've got a band or a weight, like that lat pull down. Go, four, squeeze, three, two, one. Excellent, bring it in here. Bring it front, standing crunch. Breathe, remember, elbow to knee. So stationary leg is a little bit of a bend, but legs get a little break. If you're pregnant, I don't want you to contract too far. Just bring the knee and the elbow in. If you're not, really lean it in for four, we go three two hold it in the center hold that contraction pregnancy here everybody else here breathe for four three two let's take it side right here squeeze right breathe bring that elbow into the knee you can keep it small or if you can and you're not pregnant really touch in Feeling that hip too, right? Last four, and hopefully the heart rate. I know I am too. 
three, two, hold it in, touch if you can, hold four, three, two, drop it down, slight bend in both, lift and lower, core's in tight, and breathe, <sighs> lift, there we go, up, so lifting, stationary leg has a little bend, lifting from this hip, let's add a little squat on that stationary leg, up and down, lift and lower, breathe, <sighs> yes, for four, three, two, hold it up right here, kick it out, and in, core's in tight, little tiny muscles, you can do it, breathe, last four, four, three, two, one, tap it out side to side, Whew. shake out those leg muscles, we're gonna go back to our arms, we're just combining those two we did before. So up, in, out, and down. Looks like this. Up, or from the side. Up, squeeze. Big squeeze. See if you can cross the hands behind your back. Thumb over thumb. Really squeeze it in. We're starting with this. Then we're gonna do those tiny little pulses. Two more. Up one, squeeze, good, straight arms to the back, pulse, little tiny ones, really lift, slight bend in the knees, abs and core are holding in tight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze those thumbs in, squeeze behind your back, breathe, almost there, Keep squeezing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake them out. So grab a quick sip of water if you need it. I know I do. Tap it out. We're gonna stay standing right here, turning into your bar or your chair. So little slight bend, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna move my chair so we can start with this. Right leg doing the work. Left leg, we're gonna turn the knee and turn it up. So notice I'm here, I went here to here. I'm gonna start facing my chair, just lifting to the back right here. Lift and lower. And again, it's a little slight bend. Sometimes we call this position and dance attitude. You're just getting as high as is comfortable. What I don't want you to do is arch the back or feel like you're leaning way forward. So just get that squeeze in the glute through the hip, in the back of the leg, breathe, whatever feels good for you, four more, four, breathe, three, two, watch me here, I'm gonna bring it in as I bend my knee, in and up, I'm gonna straighten the leg, both legs bent, both legs straightened, in, so it's a little half squat or half lunge, squeeze, Butt comes to the back of that calf, then lift up, squeeze. Little more forward on this, so engage that core. For eight, and up. Seven, six, breathe, five, four, lift, three, two. Hold it up, straighten it out, point that toe, little point and lift, core's in tight, breathe. Keep it going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, shake it out, tap it out, Woo, right? Little, little muscles, there we go, breathe. Remember what leg that was. We're gonna get the other one in just a second, we're gonna take a little upper body break. So watch me, I'm gonna keep that right foot forward. I'm gonna lean into the back of my chair, make sure it feels sturdy. Elbows are in tight. I'm gonna do a little tricep push up, but we're gonna stay with one foot forward if you want. That's gonna protect us, especially if you're pregnant, between putting too much pressure in the wrist or the back, or if you're pregnant in your abs. 
but make sure that your arms are doing the work. So watch me here and push. Elbows are coming right by my body. Not letting them go out, we'll do that next. And breathe, elbows in and out. Certainly if you have a sturdy chair or a countertop and you wanna take it to that regular tricep push up, if you've got that strength, make sure you feel sturdy, make sure it's not too much pressure on your elbows. I'm gonna keep one foot forward. That's how we can modify for pregnancy, but also you can still really feel those arms as long as you're not pushing in your foot. Last one right here. Big stretch back. Lean into it here, there we go. And then we're gonna switch to that other leg. So other leg forward, turning that toe in. I'm gonna turn this way. You guys don't have to do that. You can just switch your legs, but just so you can see a little bit better. I went from here, turned it out, and I'm gonna start with that little lift. Here we go. Lift and lower. Breathe. So on this, I'm a little more upright, so focusing on the core. Little bend in the back. Heel is coming towards the back heel. Keep breathing. Eight. There we go. Four, three, two. All right, watch me. We're gonna do that little squat right here. So up and bend. Up and bend. So both knees bend, both knees lengthen. Flex and extend. Three. Both legs are working. Just different parts for eight, and squeeze, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up to the top, turn it in, a little point, pulse, core is in tight, everything supported, squeeze in that glute, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax, tap it out. Woo, feeling it, right? Breathe. So let's go back to having one foot forward and the back of the chair push up. So this one is gonna be a little more like a regular push up. So we're getting all through the arms. We did triceps before. We'll take this one out this way. So one foot forward and again, this is gonna protect our core if we're pregnant. It's gonna have less pressure on the wrist and the back. Certainly if you're feeling up for it and you've got a sturdy chair or a countertop, you can take it here. My chair is not that sturdy, so I don't wanna do that. But we're gonna take it here. You focus on using your arms and it won't matter that that foot is forward. Here we go, take it out and in. The other thing you can do if you are pregnant and this is feeling like too much downward pressure, just take it to the wall. Walk your feet back just a tad and take it right here. Breathe. There we go. Down and up. So if you're really focusing on having that flexion and extension through your arms, it won't matter that that foot is forward. That's just giving you a little extra support. Two more. Breathe and relax. Take it up. Whew. Stretch it side to side, right? Feeling those arms. We are almost there. We're keeping everything standing today. We've got our mat, but we're going to keep it here. Let's go back to those toes out. And watch me here. I'm going to drop it low, squeeze it in. So pull that heel in. And as I do that, bicep curl towards your ear. Pull it in and breathe. Ooh, watch that, Matt. Here we go for four. And squeeze. Three, two. Bring them in close right here. So both in. Knees in and out. If this bothers your knees or you don't have a good surface to turn on, just keep it a little squeeze. You don't have to do much. 
Try to get low if you can. Squeeze in the chest, squeeze in the thighs. And breathe even lower. You can do it. Four, three, two. Shake it out. Woo. Take it up. Swing through those arms. You can do all of that on the other side. And we're almost done. Plie and pull. In. Squeeze. Drop it out. Pull it up and in. Heels together. Little slide or just a little step in. The idea is that you're pulling up inner thighs and glutes. Breathe. Let's add that bicep. Here we go. Really pull towards your ears. Focus on those arms. Breathe. Here we go. Last four. Three. Two. One. Hold it here. Let's keep them in close. And out. There we go. I know that's a little weird on your knees, so if you want to just keep it low, just do the arms. Four. Get low. Three. Two. And one. And relax. Tap it out. Breathe. One last thing. So let's turn it in. One leg up. We're going to keep it very, very isolated. So you're in your core here. We're going to flex that foot, bring it in and out. So hamstring curl. Using the chair so we don't have to be down in a plank position or even on all fours. Squeeze. Notice that stationary leg is working too. Breathe. Last four right here. Four. Three. Two. Good. Hold it up right here. Little pulses. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. Squeeze to the ceiling. Core's in tight. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax it down. Stretch your back. Last thing. Same thing. Other side. Here we go. Squeeze in. And out. Remember keeping a slight bend in the stationary leg. That's not just going to keep it working. That's going to protect your knees. So we don't want to lock out. Squeeze. Breathe. Squeeze in and out. Whoo. Last four. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. Keep it in. Pulse it up right here. Here we go. Pulse. Pulse. Squeezing that glute, tiny muscles. Being in this position, we're staying supported, but we're working our core for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Relax. Shake it out. Whew. I am feeling it. I don't know about you guys. Quick sip of water if you need it. Whew. We can do a little stretching using our chair. So let's take one foot forward, fold it over for a hamstring stretch. Really lean into that. Whew. Breathe, right? And then if you can, bring it up into a little quad stretch. Just do the best you can. Use your chair for balance. And let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna move my chair, you don't have to. You can just flip around, lean into that hamstring stretch. Breathe. Excellent. And bring it up to the quad. Ooh, find your balance. There we go. And then let's hold on to the back of our chair. Walk your feet back and just sit back. Let your hips drop, let your arms go along. Really press down so you stretch through the shoulders and back and hips. And then one more quick stretch. 
Let's isolate. Stretching through those hips. Those worked really hard. So let's sit in the chair to do it. Cross one leg over. This might be enough of a stretch, but if you wanna add a little more, you can lean into it. You can pull up on that foot, press out gently with that knee. Lean into it here. And let's go same on the other side. Cross it over, lean into it. This might be just enough. You want to push down gently, pull up gently, or lean forward. Lean into that. Grab, lean forward if you can. If you have a sturdy chair that you can lean on, if not, just press those thumbs to the back. You'll still feel it. And one big deep breath in. And out. You did it. That was your body weight bar chair workout. Great job, everybody.